Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United won Omnia nil. I mean, what can you say? We finally won it. That is an embarrassing win, but we're definitely going to take the W in this match because we needed to win in this game. Scott McTominay, United savior, of course, Ten Hag has shown faith in Scott in the last few weeks and every time he plays him. It has paid off, guys. Every single time it has paid off. And including tonight. I mean, tonight he came on. That was the only chance he had. And he scored. And we win the game. What can you say? Uh, he makes a, a, a very good uh, forward run. Running off the shoulders of the defender. And all he needed to do was just one chance. And he makes Omnia pay. I feel really sorry for the opposition, though. I mean, they fought really hard. Uh, came in full voice to fans, but wasn't enough. They got punished by Scott McTominay, but well done to Scott, really. I think he might be our man of the match, even though he hasn't played uh, more than 20, 30 minutes in this match. It was a really, um, it was a really vital goal by Scott McTominay, uh, Scott McTominay in terms of uh, maintaining our hopes of, overhauling the group E leaders, which is Real Sociedad. Uh, we go to uh, Spain for our final game and victory at home. The Sheriff would give us the opportunity to actually overtake uh, the side from La Liga. As things stands though, with three points adrift, and let me just quickly show you guys uh, uh, the table. So currently this is what it looks like. So we are actually three points adrift of I also say that so we must win our next game and then we're gonna have to win the game against Real Sociedad. They they won their game tonight, Real Sociedad. They played against uh Sheriff, they won that game comfortably. But we really gotta make sure that uh, uh we need to win our next game and the final matchup against Real Sociedad. In that case, we could win the group, we can avoid playing the likes of uh maybe potentially Barcelona. Uh, Ajax, Juventus, these are the three teams currently are in trouble in the Champions League. So it is possible that we could meet them if we finish second. But that's going to be a big issue if we actually finish second. Um, in terms of all-round game though, I mean, the performance wasn't bad. I thought we played really well. I thought in the first half we created a lot of chances. Rashford had two chances uh, in the first half. Bruno had another chance as well. Plenty of chances. I mean, the goalkeeper could also be in contention for being man of the match. Uh, he saved a lot of goals. Uh, and it's funny how this goalkeeper is actually a backup goalkeeper. He's not even their starter. And somehow he puts in this kind of magical night at Old Trafford. But it wasn't to be. We, we needed to win this game. And we actually went ahead and won the game. Uh, in terms of performance, who should I talk about? Uh, Casemiro hit the post around the 32 minutes. Was a decent performance by Casemiro as well. Uh, Fred had a clear cut chance. He missed a wide open header. I thought Fred struggled to create chances uh, in the middle of the park, which is the reason why he was actually replaced by Ericsson. So Ericsson came on after Ericsson came on. I thought the team played really well. We improved as a team and we started to create more chances. Um, and the second half, Anthony also had a good chance uh, from wide position. I think uh, he should have scored that one, but the keeper make a save. Anthony was, I think he was took, he got took off around 60 something minutes, I believe. Uh, Sancho came on. Sancho did really really well Sancho actually came on for Anthony and he made a lot of changes to the team he started taking on players uh he started going to the right to the left that the goal actually came when Sancho was dribbling on the left hand side which Rashford was playing in that position but uh he was just playing both sides that's what I noticed in the, in the last 15 minutes Sancho was just free to go any way he liked he was going on the right, on the left. But in the end, uh, it was actually him who took on a player, created the chance for Scott McTominay. 
uh, to get the winning goal. Uh, uh, Cristiano, Cristiano's performance was uh, okay. He had one chance. I believe he was he was craving for more chances. I'm pretty sure he's thinking, I wish I had the chances that I had uh, in the previous game against Omnia because Ammonia, because he didn't get a lot of chance in this one. Uh, he had one chance right uh, uh, he, he had his effort right at the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was just right next to him. He couldn't do much in that circumstance. Uh, other than that, I don't remember any chance for Cristiano. Look at him here. I mean, he's basically saying, what What do we have to do here to score? Because <laughs> the goalkeeper was just having an unbelievable night. Uh, Delote had a, a, a solid performance as well. Uh, defensively, I don't think we were threatened uh, that much. Of course, uh, Ammonia had one chance right before halftime. They could have capitalized on that, but they missed. But that, that That's the only chance I remember from Omnia, actually. Uh, Ammonia creating a chance in this match. I'm just going to quickly uh, show you guys the stats. Just an incredible stat here. Um... Look at this. So 13 corner kicks. Uh, 31 crosses. I mean, we couldn't find Cristiano today. It's just uh, it's ridiculous. We This is a concern, by the way. Like, it's, it's really a concern that we've, we've had all these attempts and we only scored one. Probably ended up being a nil-nil match. Uh-oh. I wanted to show you guys the total pass we did, uh, the possession, 78% ball possession and 34 shots. Can you imagine? It looks like a basketball scoreline. I mean, 34 shots, three and 13 shots on target and then nearly finished nail nail. I mean, on a positive note, you know, we got the W that we needed in this match. We needed to win this game and we won the game, but in terms of moving forward and how it's going to be, especially the likes of the bigger teams, if we face the bigger teams, we can't afford to miss this much chances. We have to put the ball in the back of the net. And today wasn't the case. Hopefully it's one of those days in football that you're just going to forget about. But I believe it might be a concern uh, moving forward. Scott McTominay, I think uh, he's done magnificently well after he came on. He had uh, 11 total touches, uh, total shot three, shots on target two, and he scored one. That is like a striker number, basically. Hasn't had a lot of attempts on goal. Bruno was just shooting from, from outside the box like multiple times. So I've seen Ericsson shoot. I've seen everybody shoot, really. And we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. But Scott McTominay, well done to him. And well done to Ten Hag, actually, for making a sub and putting in Scott McTominay. Uh, it was a big call. I thought when he was making a change and taking off Casemiro, I know Casemiro could get you goals. I've seen him at Real Madrid. A lot of times he can actually get you goals. But I thought he was making a mistake. But Scott McTominay actually came on and did really, uh, did really, really well. So, um, well done to Scott. But anyways, that has been my match reaction. Of course, we have to get ready for the Newcastle game. But what do you guys think? Who was your man of the match? I think I said Scott McTominay was my man of the match. I'll just give it to him. At the, at, at the end of the day, he, he decided the game. Uh, but overall, you might have to end up giving it to uh, the goalkeeper, their goalkeeper, but... On our team, I'll just give it to Scott McTominay. Anyways, that has been my uh, match reaction, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below in the comment section who was your man of the match. Uh, tell me about the performance of everybody. Uh, who do you think needs to start in, uh, in the next game against Newcastle? Does Rashford deserve to stay in the team? Does Anthony deserve to stay in the team? Please let me know in the, in the comment section below. And uh, smash a like on the, uh, on the video as well. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace.